All right, everyone, welcome back to another another of my great videos. Today we are going to be reviewing the premium A10 and why I think it's the best premium you can buy for 60 bucks. So, yeah, if you got 60 bucks spare, 60 bucks, you can for sure buy this thing. This thing is surely the best premium now i'll get into that in a bit but yeah um if you have 60 bucks and want to buy a premium this thing is for you at least a jet so why is this thing so good firstly i'd say because it has a 30 millimeter canyon with 1174 rounds now why is that so good well it's because most of beginners oh really need many many rounds to actually hit the target i mean if they are gonna be using this canyon you will need a lot of ammo of course as a beginner to hit something I mean, you don't really know how far uh, you need to shoot. I mean, how far uh, in front of the target you need to shoot to actually hit it. So this is great because you can waste a lot of ammo and still have uh, lots and lots and more. I, I sometimes get even rounds with three kills, three, four kills, uh, even using the cannon and like, I still have more. I still have more to use. All right, I did not see him there. All right, well, that's first thing. Second thing, you got a huge bomb load, which is really great if you are um, bombing, but you also got the, what I call, missile reset with two aim 9 l's for combat you see you can waste a lot even though i didn't hit anything i still got 912 uh, left One, uh, 912 rounds left which is really great for beginners now i hope i'll be getting a couple of kills in this video honestly yeah, let's see if I can get this dude. Like, everyone who is faster than you, you just get them with a rocket. I mean, the missile. Yeah. You just get them with that two aim 9 ls And this thing ain't that bad at dogfighting, honestly. It can dogfight. Like, SU-25s and MiG-21s, which lose a lot of speed while turning. I mean, SU-25 is just a horrible dogfighter. I won many dogfights against it. So yeah, I think overall this thing is great. It has a 29 second turn rate, which ain't that bad for what it's desi designed for. But the huge drawback is really its speed. Oh, that guy just crashed in the... Oh my god, bro. Well, it's a huge drawback really is its speed. Yeah, I know y'all will comment on that how its speed is really bad but really you got two missiles so that's very nice i guess you can everything that is faster than you especially in a down tier you can really just get with a missile because they probably don't have flares and once they do have flares um yeah you don't really, you can't really do much, I don't think. <laughs> Let me just get this dude real quick. If he does, he has players, yeah, you see. You need to learn what aircraft has players, but that's very easy to kill. Right there. I hope I don't crash into something, alright. Yep, I didn't crash into anything. But like, yeah, it's fine. It's fine that you are a bit slower, but you got many good things 
with that slowness, if I can say it like that. You get many good things with that. You get a 30mm cannon, really fast firing, a huge um a huge bomb load. And so yeah, it has many 80 GMs. You can fit so so much below this, it's actually crazy. And it's very easy to actually cut off win wings in this thing with just purely using the canyon, but you can also you see I got 834 uh, rounds left. What I can do now, I can do some air support. I mean, I can do some cast with that. So that's why I usually don't carry a bomb load, actually. I don't carry any bombs because I have a 30 millimeter cannon that can literally do anything. Like, look. I mean, it cannot destroy bases, but if you want to really grind, you can. Yeah, you cannot really destroy that easily uh, medium tanks from front but like you can if you are going from um, from back but yeah this thing can easily kill um, kill uh, light tanks and kill some other stuff like basically yeah you see I destroyed that you can also kill something basic like basic artillery or something like that to be safer of course if you don't really want to destroy air targets. But also the thing I forgot to talk about is its huge countermeasure count. It has 240 flares and 240 chaff. That is huge amount. That is so so much. Like you can flare for the for the whole match and you will still have flares on the end of the match. It's actually kind of crazy to me. That guy almost crashed into me. That AI. That would have been embarrassing, honestly. But yeah, you know, see? You cannot really catch up to that many things. Now you can destroy some of these ground targets. But yeah, that's fine as well, honestly. As I said, I think this is the most worth it uh, spending money on premium even though yeah you should not really be spending money on premiums in my opinion at least but yeah man the map this design Gagen has is actually kind of crazy I cannot see anything Oh, is killing me literally I mean, I'm just hoping I don't crash into something like some big ass rock or something like that. Cause yeah, <laughs> great design, Gajin, great design. I mean, if I now had like something like some, let's say bombs, I could do some bombing of the bases. Literally, this thing, this thing can do anything, any single thing you want. And it literally, I don't know what else you can ask from my aircraft. I mean, yeah, I think that fast is only its drawback, but like, yeah, that's that's really about it. Like, really, it can do anything. It can dogfight to some extent. I mean, of course, you cannot dogfight uh, dogfighters, but like MiG 21s and things like that you can dogfight and it's really like easy to kill them so yeah i think this thing is really really good for that matter let's see that su25 let's get that thing as well so yeah um what else is there to say about this thing actually? Like, Gao 8 is a, literally a legendary canyon. Oh, SU-25 is gonna do something stupid it seems. We both die or just he dies? 
Yep, we both died. Um, or not? Can I still fly? Come on. Come on. Nah. Nah. Nah, I ain't gonna leave. Well, that's fine though. Yep, three kills, eight ground targets, 2,749 um, score. That is really some nice score right there. So yeah, overall, this is a great fighter, a great bomber. It's literally, it literally has everything you will need, especially for a beginner player. Like, you can very easily dominate in this thing in every single battle. So yeah, that's really about it. See ya.